Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, football is modern-day gladiators. You know, I remember tearing my ACL, and I wasn't mad about it. I was going downfield. My job was outside contained on a punt. And I get outside, and, of course, I'm looking in to see where the returner is. And the returner, the ball goes through his hands, and it's rolling towards me. I'm thinking I'm going to pick up the football, and I am going to get a touchdown. Just thinking that. And it was at that moment that my fingers were almost on the ball that my left leg was planted and I got hit right here in the shoulder. And what happened with my knee is my knee basically, oh, excuse me, my knee went like that, sideways. That was back in the day when we had like 35 millimeter film. But because the press box was focused in on the ball carrier, I was between the camera and the ball carrier, so you saw it on film like that. Tore my ACL. And I wasn't mad about the guy that hit me. It was a great shot. I mean, it was a blindside shot, but it was legal. It had came across the body, blew me up. Just one of those things. Had I been, you know, half a stride one way or the other, my knee wouldn't have been shot. It'd just been knocked down, have a feelings hurt. But that's what's expected in football. You know, I never got mad about getting hit legally in a game. It's the Bush League people that piss me off. The guys that are intentionally out there trying to hurt you, you know, guys that are just trying to cut you at the knee because we want to end your career. And there's no place for that. Now, you know, and, and when I look at last week when C.D. Lamb was being choked, that's one of those times that, you know, they gave him the benefit of the doubt. They said, well, his fingers was caught in the chin strap. Okay. All right. But we find C.D. for a wave. We find C.D., for a shirt being untucked. And I'm sitting here and I'm seeing what Mac Jones did yesterday. Apparently, if you're a believer that the Patriots cheat and that they're dirty players, then Mac Jones fits in there perfectly because what he did yesterday was some bullshit. From what we're looking at, I, I tell you what, let me show you the clip. I don't know if this will be uh, hit by the NFL police or not. Um, on here, but um, let me show you the clip of exactly what he did. That is going out of your way to try and physically hurt somebody against the rules. He not only grabbed the guy by the foot. Why? Because I, I think you can see it in there. He grabbed him by the foot first, proceeded to take his leg and get it in between, and then roll to twist the ankle. I don't know how much more malicious that could be. If that were off the football field, 
I mean, you would be calling for assault and battery of attacking someone. Now, what the NFL is saying right now is that they're looking into it, and, you know, at the moment it'll be, you know, just fine, you know, just unnecessary roughness. We find a guy who, in the middle of the play, maybe lowered his helmet because there's a difference. There's a difference of, of hitting a guy in the moment where your helmet got down too low. Maybe the receiver gathered himself or the running back to absorb the blow and you hit somebody. Or maybe that you're running in there and, you know, you hit just, a, just an instant too late on the quarterback. That's one thing. That's something that's in motion that's hard to stop. You know, uh, Randy Gregory going and being aggressive and hitting the, the, the ball carrier as he's maybe stopped, maybe not stopped. As he's right on the, 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 the sidelines, that's one of those ones that's like, yeah, okay, that's questionable. But when you do what Mac Jones just did, Mac Jones is on the ground. He's out of the play. To grab the guy's ankle, try to twist him and maliciously injure him, that's got to go above and beyond just I hit a guy out of bounds. There is nothing in football. There is no single play that justifies you grabbing a guy by the ankle and twisting and trying to hurt that person. There's none. I mean, you could say, well, there's shoestring tackles, but you don't see guys trying to gator roll a guy's ankle? Nah, man. This is where sometimes I look at some of the things the NFL does, and it makes no rhyme or reason. I can go back to Randy Gregory, being suspended for as long as he was, never smoking weed and driving, never doing anything violent, never having a problem with the coach, never not showing up where he was supposed to be, just smoking weed. But for that guy to be suspended for the amount of time that he was suspended, you're going to have this guy literally trying to hurt somebody outside and beyond the rules of the game. He's just pissed off because he got a strip sack. Nah, nah, bro. You know, that, that's that's just straight up dirty play. And there shouldn't be any place for the NFL to have that. Uh, you know, how you can justify saying that, you know, late hits, you know, we're going to find you or, you know, unnecessary. Yeah, th- th- then you got to go be of and above and beyond on this. You just do. You just do. Because I think about Randy Gregor being suspended. Smoking weed. Didn't hurt anybody. Didn't hurt anybody. But then again, what do we expect? Hopefully for um, Brian Burns, um, he was injured on the play. Um, he's getting an MRI today uh, to check out to see how bad it is, how severe it is. Um and go from there. But yeah, this is New England and its finest, I guess you could say. <sighs> Some people can get away with murder. Other teams, you have your shirt out. They're going to get you. Hope you guys tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, uh, for our live stream. We'll dissect this game that we had that was just ugly and wonder is there any recovering from this i've got a great answer for you and um yeah i get a great answer for you i'm mark holmes and i hope you're having a well you're not having a if you're a cowboy fan you're not having a great monday you're pissed off like i am so cheer up sunday we got another chance to get our shit together see you soon